Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the video. And the subject of this video is Transformers Studio Series 86, Decepticon Throne. Now, real quick, taking a look at the packaging, it's odd that the Decepticon Throne is not even anywhere on the box, or at least the front of the box. You've got, let's see, Ramjet and Thrust, and you got Starscream right here, and I thought that was the throne, but that is in fact Starscream's cape. You don't see the throne until back here in a small corner of the packaging. So I think that's very deceptive of Hasbro. So shame on you. It does, however, go over the accessories that come with the throne. You get a Starscream along with some null rays, a crown, and a cape. So enough of the packaging, let's go ahead and get this ripped open and check out this seat of Decepticon royalty. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get the Decepticon throne all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see it does come with a sheet of instructions that once again focuses on Starscream. But as you can see, these are very well illustrated and easy to follow. You also get an Earthrise Starscream, which is pretty cool. You get a pink cape that can actually unfold. I dig that. You get these two Null Ray holders and four different null rays. You've got these two right here, and then these two with blue pegs. Now you'll notice the blue pegs are set farther back on these, and I'll go over that later on. You also get this crown slash power source. And then, of course, you get the throne itself. Now, ever since getting this throne, I've rewatched Transformers the movie. And this throne is shown nowhere during the coronation scene. Actually, nowhere in the movie. I mean, I'm looking. Is this it? Nope. Is this it? Nope. This throne was actually featured in the very first episode of the Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye Part 1, as the Decepticon captain chair for the Nemesis. <laughs> So once again, Hasbro, you're lying to us. Quit being deceptive. Therefore, the other item in this box, which is this backdrop that shows the coronation scene from Transformers the movie, I'm not even going to show that to you because it's all a lie. That is not in Transformers the movie. But taking a closer look at this captain's chair, this is wonderfully sculpted. I love the looks of this. It's all one piece. You've got a Decepticon insignia sculpted in right there. Lots and lots of details. No cushions. Cons don't need cushions. But yeah, this is a very well sculpted captain's chair. Now on the back, your only hollowness is right there and that's due for or due to the accessories. So it really doesn't look bad at all. It's got some screw holes right there. There's even a lot of details on the back, which is surprising because you wouldn't think you'd have this facing the back. So yeah, this is really, really cool and I, I dig it. It's nice and solid to a great addition to your collection. Now I'll show off the accessories that it comes with. You've got these Null Ray holders right here and these are used for the null rays with the blue tips. You got these little pink sections here. So what you wanna do is attach these. Those pink sections actually flip down. So you'll attach the blue tip null rays to both of these, 
just like so. And on the other end of the holder is a purple section that can rotate in and out. Now what you do with these is right here in this big hollow section I showed earlier, you see those holes there in the back? Just slide the null ray holders all the way back there. Kind of hard to get in. You got to take your finger and push them in so they'll lock in place. So now that you've got both null rays in place, you've got that look going on. Then what you're going to do is take the second set of null rays with the handles that are a little closer to the barrel, and you can press those in right there, aiming down, or I like to have them aiming up. Just adds a little bit more dramatic effect to the throne. Now you've got this crown slash power source right here. And you'll notice a peg right there on top of the throne. That'll plug in there. So it like gives the throne extra an extra boost. It's like his backpack or something. Then you'll take the cape and the cape actually plugs in. You'll have to move the null rays down. There's a peg on the back of the cape. Peg that right into that hole. So now you have a upgraded Decepticon's captain's chair. And this looks sweet. You can even unfold the cape like so. Of course, that'll pop off. So now it looks like the cape's blowing in the wind. So it really adds a dramatic effect to the throne. And I dig it. I really, really like this. Now, what's also really cool is these accessories can all work together. So let me kind of get these all apart and we'll bring in Starscream. Now this Starscream is the Earthrise version of Starscream that we got a couple years ago. But there is a couple differences between this throne Starscream to the original Earthrise. One, if you'll notice, the Decepticon insignia is larger on the wing for throne Starscream and throne Starscream has these moving fingers. I mean, it's all, all four fingers are together but that's a pretty cool option. You can move the hand in and out. The Earthrise Starscream from a couple years ago, it's a closed fist. And that's really about it. There's not really a lot of comparisons I can do because my Earthrise here has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. So how Starscream can interact with the throne here is go ahead and flip this panel up, bring the legs up, fold them down like so, and now Starscream can sit in the Decepticon's captain seat, though not very well. If you look at this straight on, the way he's designed, he's got this panel here on the back, Starscream looks like he's sitting on this throne like he's hovering over it, like he's taking a shit in a gas station bathroom. So that's kind of disappointing. But you can utilize the star screen with the other accessories. Go ahead and fold the legs down. So you have the first set of null rays right here. The ones with the pegs that are closer down toward the barrel. You can peg these into star screen's shoulders, just like so, to give him at that generation one look. So just like the first Earthrise version we got a few years ago. Now, another option you can do is take these null rays off and go ahead and pop the null rays and null ray holders out of the throne or the captain's chair. And now what you're gonna do is take these two null ray holders and I, we already have the other null rays attached and you're gonna peg these in to Starscream's shoulders right where the other null rays went. Sometimes this can be tricky just like with the throne. So there's one. We'll go ahead and get the other. That one went in real easy. So he's got these pylons now that look just like the pylons he had in the movie. Now you'll take the null rays and fold these down. And the reason this is, is because the pylons now plug into the holes the null rays would have went into. So it kind of gives the illusion that the null rays are still attached to Starscream's arms. Then you can take the power source, which now can become Starscream's crown. And then on the back of the figure, you can peg the cape, just like you did with the throne. Throne, captain's chair, same thing. Go ahead and peg that in. Bring the nose cone back down. So there you have Starscream looking like he did 
for three seconds in the movie right before Galvatron took him out. So that is really cool. I love how these accessories work together. These are so much better than the crap accessories we got with Studio Series 86 Grimlock, which was this lame wheelie right here that's only better because of my buddy Firetox giving him some legs. And then you've got the piece of shit Daniel figure that came with slag. So at least this accessory set that came with the throne, the Starscream can transform just like the Earthrise figure, plus the accessories can all work with each other. And that is just awesome. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series 86 Decepticon Captain's Chair with a Lazy Boy Recliner, Dylan's Darth Vader Gaming Chair, and a random wicker chair in our living room that has my haul for today in it. The Transformers Studio Series 86 Decepticon Captain's Chair is a great addition to your collection. I love the looks of this thing, I love the sculpted details, and I really appreciate the accessories that this came with. As I said earlier, the accessories that we've been getting have been total garbage. These accessories are a great improvement, especially if you don't own an Earthrise Starscream. Now you can get one and have an awesome throne to go with him as well. But to be honest, this throne is for one Decepticon only, the mighty Megatron. And Megatron fits in this throne perfectly. He doesn't look like he's taking a dump. He looks like he is ready to lead. So there you go, guys. Studio Series 86, Decepticon Captain's Chair. So, does a Transformers Studio Series 86 Decepticon Captain Chair belong in your collection? Absolutely especially if you have a Decepticon figure who's tired of standing. This really impressed me. I love the sculpted details on it, and the fact you can attach the accessories is just icing on the cake. I think this is a fantastic addition to any collection. Plus, the accessories it comes with aren't too shabby either. So yeah, if you happen to see the Decepticon throne or captain's chair on the shelf, pick it up you are not going to be disappointed. Also, I, uh, I want to announce that this will be my last video filming with this tripod right here. I have used this pretty much since day one for all of my shots, but as you can see, it's big, it's bulky and cumbersome. So I upgraded to this new hotness right here. It collapses down. You can lay the legs out and then it just extends forever. Not to mention, you can use it as a selfie stick and it has a Bluetooth remote control. So I'm sorry to see the old tripod going, but you gotta upgrade. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Also, happy April Fool's Day. Do you really want to, do you really want to taste that? This is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ha!